welcome back to the vlog. We are Sunday today. So this is the Sunday after the Friday that I vlogged like in my last vlog and I was pretty sick and I am still, I'm still recovering. I'm still pretty stuffy and I have the whole, the whole thing, but we are slowly getting better. I took yesterday off and I think that was a good idea. I woke up really not feeling that great. And I figured since we'll be vlogging tomorrow, tomorrow being the big solar eclipse, Who's excited? I'm super excited. It's gonna be a day, you guys. I don't know what the day's gonna roll out looking like. Like I have a plan, but that whole plan could be totally derailed just by, you know, what the world also decides to do at that particular time. Or not, maybe not the world, but at least Toronto, my world. <laughs> it is the most gorgeous, beautiful day, blue skies. There's not like a cloud in the sky. This is the kind of weather that I'm hoping for, for tomorrow. I think everyone is hoping for this kind of day tomorrow. It's supposed to be like sun and cloud or parts on a cloud, which is fine. It just can't be cloudy because I will be watching the weather since I will be traveling a distance. I don't want to travel that full distance and then not be able to see the eclipse, you know? Okay, it is 11.10. I'm actually meeting Kate for a walk at 11.30. We're doing an earlier one today. And so I have to go. If you know me, I take forever to get ready in the morning. And so the fact that I am actually like dressed and ready to go for 11.10, you guys, you can imagine. This morning was a rush. And I even pushed my workout a little bit with my friend just so that I could get my Myself a little more time to sleep. So we did the workout, we had a shower, we washed the hair, we dried the hair, we put on the makeup, we got dressed, the whole, the whole thing by 1110. And for me, that is, that's like record breaking. Okay, I have to leave in five minutes. So I'm not gonna put a coat on. I, I actually have like a thermal thing under the sweater. So I think I should be warm enough. I'm gonna go put my shoes on and get Bennett ready to go and go for a walk. most beautiful day blue skies sunny so much so that bennett was actually getting like hot on the walk even i was getting hot i'm back now i'm cooling down and i have a bin in front of me here that i have been wanting to go through my mom gave me this over the march break Ugh, it's full of all my documents you know how parents have like a drawer where they keep everything about their their kid like report cards art like any awards that i've won this is basically all of that and while i was visiting my parents my mom was like you know what you're 32 i think you can handle your own documents so she gave me this whole bin and i have not gone through it yet but i've been kind of dying to i know there's important documents in here so i sort of have to like figure out like what are the important things like my birth certificate and stuff that i need to keep and then i don't know like i tend to be sentimental about this kind of stuff so i almost don't want to throw anything out but i'd like to maybe organize it a bit i don't know i don't know how she's done it in here and i think there's some like random things in here too oh my gosh these are all the old magazines when i was helping my mom with a play of hers that was set in the 1960s i believe yeah 1960s i ordered a bunch of these older magazines these are legit 1960s magazines that we had as props oh my gosh this is like a legit the gazette 1963 a legitimate paper from 1963 wild okay what's this oh these look like photos oh no are these baby photos oh they're baby photos of me oh no oh you guys that's me do i look the same that's baby corona right there look at those cheeks wait that's kate wait this is me there's one of kate in here there we go Krenna and Kate. Kate was the cutest baby ever. That's why Alex is so cute. Like, look at her face. Adorable. Here's the famous one of me. In my white dress. My parents had this in, in our house for sure. Cute little white dress. There I am again. Chubby cheeks and all. So I guess I'll just like keep these. I mean, I'm not gonna throw these out. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this one before. I feel like I've seen every baby photo of me. Oh my gosh. Look, look at those cheeks. Look at the cheeks. 
Oh man, I was an interesting looking baby. All right, one more, one more. I'm a little older. There we go. I feel like the cheeks just got bigger. Cute little baby Corona. Okay, well that's adorable. So these are all photos in here. I've just a big collection of them. Okay, this next one, pink folder, just has my name on it. So, oh, these look like immunization record. We used to live in Quebec, so half of the stuff is in French. Oh, my birth certificate, definitely want that. Oh, my baptism certificate on the 2nd of January, 1992. Certificate of birth. Then what was the other one? Notice of birth registration. Oh, we have another baby photo. This is a petite baby. This is like really early on. Bank documents. It's just a whole bunch of like random stuff. Obviously all important, all legal documents, definitely keeping. What's this? This looks like Duke of Edinburgh. Presentation of gold awards of achievement by His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. This is a program from when I went with my mom to receive my Duke of Edinburgh gold. His Highness the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, who has now unfortunately passed. This was in 2010, Monday, July the 5th, 2010. Wild. Who was my name here? Oh my God, my name must be here. Oh, I'm under independent participants. There I am, right there. That was a really cool moment when I met the prince. Oh, I'm gonna be really careful. I need to get this framed. This is my Duke of Edinburgh gold award. Gotta keep that safe. Old synchro photo. Oh God, it's a terrible photo of me though. Okay, this is my synchro team in 2009. I'm right there. Oh, I miss those ladies. Oh, and then this was Iron Man. That was Dark Knight. And I think this was Iron Man. And I'm down here. Synchro swim pics. Oh. Is it gonna be a little Coretta here? Oh, stop it, stop it. Oh my gosh, I'm framing this. I don't even remember this team. This must have been like our first year there. Look at us. Oh my God, there's me and there's Kate. Babies, I don't even know who these people are. Oh no, no, I, I actually, I recognize her. I don't know why. I don't know her name or anything, but I recognize her. The others I do not recognize. Unless they went to different clubs. They could have gone to like Gloucester or the PN or something. I was with the Ottawa Synchro Club. This is such a trip down memory lane. Oh my gosh, my first competitive team. This was my first year competitive. Look at us. There's me and there's Kate. We're so cute. And that's Sophia. I was on a team with Sophia the entire time I did synchro. I don't think there was a year that we were apart. This looks very typically us. That looks like a pretty typical photo right there. We were wild children. We were, we were cray cray. This was the Muppets. I'm right there, my little Muppet uniform. I still have all these swimsuits, by the way. I, I kept all of my swimsuits. Aw, there's the Muppets. Definitely keeping all of that. There is so much stuff in here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go through all of it right now because I just have like a lot of work to do today. Oh no, are these report cards? Oh my gosh, are these swimming report cards? I didn't even know that we received certificates for going up in tiers, which tiers are, are like levels. I had no idea. Aw, our first competition. My mom literally kept everything. Uh, our first like, pamphlet for our first competition. Our first probably like water show. Okay, well you guys, there is so much stuff here and I have so much work to do today. So I think I'm gonna pause. Like I'm not even halfway through the stuff that's in here. I'm gonna pause and I'm going to edit the vlog for a little bit because I wanna try and get the vlog up today if possible. Man, this is such a trip down memory lane and I will have to probably visit like a Michaels or something and figure out sort of a, a filing system and ways that I can protect all this stuff a little bit better because this stuff is it's priceless, the stuff I can't replace. I'm gonna put everything back, but man, this was so much fun. It is just past seven now. I have been steadily working away on the vlog and I actually finished the rough cut, but it is seven o'clock and I'm hoping to get it up tonight. So I kind of have to like rush the, the rest of the process. But honestly, once the rough cut is done, the rest of it is like relatively smooth. I just have to watch it through a few times, make sure everything's good, put on some slates if I have any. I call them slates, like whatever the titles are and stuff are, like the date, and then run it through premium your pro and put all my subscriber stuff on. So I just have to like do that and get it up. But I'm taking a quick pause because I want to get everything together for tomorrow. I actually just quickly popped over to my cousin's place. His building is like right beside mine because my aunt gave us glasses, like um, eclipse glasses. And because she gave us glasses, I ended up giving my glasses that I bought to Kate. So now that I have my glasses, I kind of want to collect all the things that I'm going to need for tomorrow and like pile them all in one place or, or even put them in my car because after I finish work tomorrow, it's going to be like a rush to get home, get Bennett and back on the road. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. I can just feel it unless it's cloudy, which I'm really hoping it's not. I just have to ensure that when I come home, I'm basically just coming up here to grab Bennett and go back down. Maybe change. I might change. I might be wearing this again. This seems to be my staple wardrobe right now. Okay. So I've got my glasses. Bennett's food for tomorrow and a bowl for him to eat out of. I'm going to throw a poop bag in there, you know, just in case. 
some water also for Bennett. My car doesn't have air conditioning and it may get hot tomorrow seeing as how hot it's been the last couple of days. So put that in there. I'm gonna bring my hat, you know, never know. Oh my God, excuse me. I have some Tazo chai latte tea concentrate. I'll officially prep this in the morning, but I'm just gonna put it in the fridge right now. And I will also bring this whole thing with me so that I can make some for the ride home as well. And I can make a full like 40 ounce chai tea. So it's great. So this is going in the fridge. I threw my glasses in a plastic bag and I also just wrapped them. And then I also put a little um, piece of MDF in there so that it doesn't get squished in the bag. It would be really sad if I actually made it all the way there and then my glasses were squished. Bennett and I are in the car and we are on our way to Kingston now. It is 1220. It is pretty overcast outside here, but apparently it's like mix of sun and cloud in the Kingston area. So I'm just gonna cross my fingers. I figured I would just be like kicking myself if I didn't go. So we're gonna attempt to go. And if we don't see anything, we don't see anything, but it's worth a try. there you guys we made it to Fort Henry which is where my parents are watching it but I have to find parking and of course all the parking lots are full so I'm just crossing the street to park and then we're literally gonna run up the hill okay let's do ah! Oh no no London it's this in the Tower of London. Hi daddy. Oh I, oh, I see it. Oh my gosh, it's almost there. Let me see. Are these the glasses best focus? Yeah. Is it just one pair? Yeah. Let me see. They're really dense though. They're like really dark. Those are better. Oh it's it's kind of the same. They're just actually a little more foggy. Yeah, try try my glass. Take a look through here. Oh god. Oh wow. You can't really see it, but you can see that it's um it's definitely like covered by something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is this the crimson they talked about? Oh, it's coming back. Oh, look at, look at, it's look coming, at it's coming back, it's coming back! It's coming back! Oh my god. Can we still run? No. No, it's too late. Wow. Oh my god, I made it with like, she was like, as I, as I went to park, she's like, you've got 10 minutes. And I was like, I've come all the way from Toronto. I can't miss this. Yeah. And now it's getting bright outside.
back to reality. <laughs> this is fun. This might be on summer holiday. I honestly feel like it's the next day. Oh wow, look at that. I could stay here. I could stay here all the time. My new eclipse bracelet. Hi, my baby. Hi, Jojo. Hi, Jojo. <laughs> I missed you. Hi, Mr. B. Woo! Goodbye, Fort Henry. Perfect spot. It was beautiful. Well done. This was the best. This was honestly the best. Kingston around 5 p.m. and I actually entered my apartment at 9.30. 9.30, that was a four and a half hour drive when typically, on like any normal day, it takes about two and a half hours. So that was a very long drive, you guys, but 100, 100, 1,000 percent worth it. That was probably one of the most magical experiences of my life. Like honestly, I can't even articulate how incredible that whole experience was. Like just getting there in the nick of time, like nick of time. I probably had just enough time to actually watch the thing comfortably. So we ended up watching it at Fort Henry, which is a place I've never been to before. It's kind of like on the Canadian bucket list, if you know what I mean. But oftentimes when I'm traveling from Toronto to Ottawa, you know, you just bypass Kingston, you don't actually go in and explore Kingston. It's sort of that middle city that you just don't go to. And Fort Henry is one of those places where like I've always thought, oh, I should go visit there. My parents decided that that would be like an ideal spot to go and watch. And they had actually gotten there two hours early and got the last spot in like the main parking lot on the hill. So by the time that I pulled up, I had to park across the street. It was like a parking lot for a gym and all of the real parking spots for that place were taken, but people were just like parking on the grass. So I was like, well, they're parking on the grass. I'm gonna park on the grass. So I just parked on the grass. And then literally like you saw some of it, I ran across the street and then I ran up the hill. Like, I don't know where I'm going. I didn't know exactly where my parents were. My mom said like, we're on a hill and there's like a parking lot, you'll see it. So I ran up that like steep hill, not realizing that they were like, like way up the hill. So I just had to run. My mom mentioned that there was a trolley that could take you from the bottom of the hill to the top, but it only ran every seven minutes. And if there wasn't a trolley at the base of the hill, well then you had to wait for it to come down and then wait the additional like seven minutes, which I did not have time for. So I just had to run. I had to run up that hill. And guys, with my cold and my lungs, oh my God, I was dying. I was coughing for a substantial amount of time afterwards. You can actually hear in my voice, like my throat is so tired. I'm just, I'm just so tired of being sick in general. But anyway, when the sun was like fully covered by the moon, there was this hush and then everyone started cheering. And it was just, it was like I was at some kind of festival or something. Everyone could feel it in the air. And actually you could sense the evening bugs were coming out. There were the sounds that you hear in the evening. It was just so strange, but like in the best way possible. Like that was the most insane thing. I'm so glad I did that. And we were worried about the clouds, but you know, the clouds didn't end up being a problem. Like we could clearly see the sun. Oh, and you guys, I brought my hydro jug traveler with me and I can guarantee this thing is 100% leak proof because I was throwing this around, throwing it in my bag, throwing it in the car and it didn't leak at all. So, and this is not sponsored or anything. This is just like me using the traveler. This is definitely a good one. I cannot wait to watch the footage back on both like my phone and this camera. I am so excited to edit this vlog, you guys. Like this is one of those vlogs. It's like a keepsake vlog. I will remember this forever Like I will remember it forever, but to actually witness it and see it all again on footage. It's just ah I'm so happy, but just because I am exhausted and I'm going to be winding down for bed now I think I'm gonna end this vlog right here and I hope you guys really enjoyed it This was so much fun Like I have not had this much fun in a really really long time this experience. I will remember forever I just I will cherish it forever I will cherish it forever. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and hit the bell. If you wanna get notified as to when I will be posting next and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.